Okay, welcome back to another cooking video. I'm Chef DeVille and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make the Valentine sushi roll. Now, what you're going to need first is some spicy tuna tartare. To make this, you're going to need to use some tuna that you have from Offcut, say for making tuna sashimi, which I'm going to teach you how to make in this video later on. Now, you take the tuna sashimi, Offcut, and then you chop them up. Okay, so once you've chopped it up, just transfer it over to a bowl. And then you add a spoon of mayo. Then you might want to just clean up a little bit. Keep it nice and tidy. I find it's the biggest battle in the kitchen just to keep everything clean. And now a spoon of masago. This is Captain seasoned fish roe. A little squirt of sriracha hot sauce. This one's the best one with a rooster on it. It's the original one and the best tasting one. All the other ones just don't even compare compared to this one. Okay, and now you mix it. All right, so just mix it gently and don't over mix it. Once it's done, just leave it in the fridge until you need it. Okay, one last thing to prep before we start making the sushi roll, we need some pink mayo. And to make this, it's very simple. We're just gonna use some mayo and we're gonna mix it with a natural colorant, like for example, raspberry juice in this case. You can also use different things like strawberry juice or cherry juice, anything else. Or you could use some synthetic colorants. It's your choice. I just like to use the natural stuff. It's a little bit better for you. Okay, so here I'm just gonna mix some mayo with some raspberry juice. I start by adding a little bit of raspberry juice, seeing how it is after I mix it, then add a little bit more and a little bit more until I get the right color. Here, all we're looking for is the color. We just want aesthetically for it to be pink, just for this purpose. There's no taste regard at all. All right, so there you go, pink mayo. Now what you wanna do is you take a Ziploc bag and you grab one of the corners of your Ziploc bag and then you pull the bag around your hand, now leaving a crevice here where you can fill in with mayo. And then you just scoop it in, because later we're gonna use this as a piping bag. So you just wanna cut the edge off later. All right, so now you just invert it. And then as you can see, all my pink mayo is in one of the corners. And then later when I cut the tip off, I can use this as a piping bag to place it wherever I need to. So just keep this in the fridge until you require it. All right, so now you place a bamboo rolling mat inside a Ziploc bag, and then place half a sheet of nori on top. Then take 120 grams of cooked sushi rice, that's four ounces, and spread it over your nori. Now, if you don't know how to make sushi rice, a link is just put on top left corner of your screen, which will take you to a resource I've made of how to make sushi rice. Then flip over your sheet of nori. Now add your tuna tartare. Don't overdo it. And two slices of avocado, just like so. Now to roll it, just bring up the back end and pull it over. But then you press, release, and then go forwards and then press again, release, move forward, and press one more time, and then release. And that is your sushi roll. Okay, now what you wanna do is you wanna take your rolling mat and squeeze it into a heart shape, so half a heart shape. All right, so you press down with your palms and in with your fingers, and this creates half a heart shape. Okay. All right, so what I have here is a beautiful piece of sushi grade tuna specifically of the albacore species. If you don't know what sushi grade fish is, then click on the link on the top left corner of your screen right now and you'll find out more about it. So to cut sashimi, what you want to do is you want to cut through the muscle fibers of the tuna. And to do this, you cut 90 degrees from the fat lines, which you see running through your steak. 
Now, what this does is it cuts through all the fibers and then it's a much more softer texture of tuna. It really just falls apart in your mouth. All right, the technique here is pretty simple. You just press your fingers softly against the steak to keep it in place. Then slice in one drag in a single direction. And this creates a very beautiful grain cut. Now it's very important to have a very, very, very sharp knife. If you want to get the same knife as I'm using here, you can get the same knife by clicking on the link on the top left corner of the screen. It's extremely sharp and it does the job without any effort. All right, so now I take my slices of sashimi I just cut and I'm just gonna layer them across my sushi roll. Don't worry if it goes over, just trim it down later. Just make sure it goes all the way across. Okay, perfect. Now I'm just gonna press them on. And then I'm just gonna trim off any excess on both sides. All right, now before I cut it, I'm just gonna add a piece of cling film onto it and fix it on with a bamboo mat just to keep everything in place so that nothing gets out of shape when I cut it. We'll make the cutting easier too. Then just wet your knife slightly in some water. First, I'm gonna cut the edges off. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm gonna cut the halves into quarters and the quarters into eighths. Make sure to wipe down your blade on a wet rag in between uh, cuts. It makes it much more easier to cut. After cutting, just re-firm it back into shape in case you moved it with bamboo rolling mat and then take the cling film off. Now you can take them apart and you'll see that two of these create a heart shape like this. All right, so now to garnish your hearts. What I've got here is silky egg yolks. I showed how to make this in a different video, so click on the link on the top left corner if you haven't seen that video. Now they're really airy and light and you just sprinkle them on top to cover up the entire thing. It's all right if it falls off on the, on the wooden plate, that's what's supposed to happen because I'm going to move them later anyway. So Once you've covered it with your silky egg yolks, you take your pink mayo, which you made earlier, and you cut the tip of the bag off. and then you just squeeze it out. And you just follow the border of your heart. Once you're done with decorating them, you can start plating up. You just take a big plate, and then you just take a knife and slide it underneath and lift them up. And place them on the plate. I add some pickled ginger, just in a pile. Then you add a wasabi leaf. And last but not least, a little carrot butterfly. Now you can learn how to make this carrot butterfly by clicking on the link on the top left corner of your screen. It's another YouTube video I made once upon a time. Okay, so that's it. That's your heart sushi roll for Valentine's Day done. I'm about to hit 50,000 subscribers sometime within the next week or something. And it's truly, it's humbling. I mean, I can't imagine that many people in any situation. The biggest crowd I've ever seen in my life was about 8,000 to 9,000 people. And that was in Ibiza in a very big 
very big party. And that was just a sea of people. So 50,000 people subscribed to my videos. That's overwhelming and mind-boggling. It's, wow. I want to thank you all for subscribing to me and liking my videos and what I do. It's truly humbling. And I'm going to do my best to continue and make better and better videos, hopefully. Okay, right, so if you're new to this and you want to add to that subscriber list, you can click on the top left corner of the screen right now and you can subscribe to my channel. As usual, you can check out all my videos by clicking on the right. And just a big thank you to everyone for watching my videos and liking them and all, all the comments. It's always great. Whenever I'm doubting what I'm doing, I just look at the comments and see, you know, people saying, you're awesome, keep going, you know, it's, it's encouraging. So just please carry on doing that. I try to read every comment that ever gets posted on all my videos. It's becoming a little bit too hard to do that right now because there's so many comments, but it's always great. So thank you all and till next week, goodbye.